What had the situation been for you as an entertainer if you had still been living in South Africa? Well, I... I don't think there would have come anything out of it. And that's one of the reasons that I left South Africa, because there was just no scope for me as a black entertainer, in that there are places where, which are reserved only for whites uh, and white entertainers. For instance, for many years we were not allowed to drink, and therefore we were not allowed to perform in uh, nightclubs where liquor was being served. And those nightclubs were only open to white South Africans and not to the black people. And for a, t a time there, we could perform in the theaters, but in 1958, the government passed a new uh, law that no Africans could perform in, in the cities, in any of the city halls and so forth. And that's why I left in 1959. <laughs> talking about when we speak of people in Johannesburg we have to be specific in that in South Africa there are two separate communities and that's the white community and the black community uh, I will speak for my community I think we are happy we dance we sing uh, because for to us uh, sometimes it's better to love to keep from crying. <laughs> I am 
ask you and all the leaders of the world, would you act differently? Would you keep silent and do nothing if you were in our place? Would you not resist if you were allowed no rights in your own country because the color of your skin is different to that of the rulers? And if you were punished for even asking for equality? Mr. Chairman, there is already too much hate in my country. I am afraid that if the world keeps silent and the government is madly proceeding with more brutality and is trying to take the lives of our most beloved leaders and boys in their teens, you cannot stop the hatred from overflowing. I appeal to you and through you to all the countries of the world to do everything you can to stop the coming tragedy. I appeal to you to save the lives of our leaders, to empty the prisons of all those who should never have been there, and help us win our right to human dignity. So Little Blues was written for me by Hugh Masekela after the um, June 16th uh, uprising. The children got a letter from the master. It said no more Kosa, so do no more Zulu. Refusing to comply, they sent an answer. That's when the policemen came to the rescue. Well, the children were flying, bullets dying. Oh, the mothers screaming and the 